हिंदुस्तानी हुकूमत ने यमन में मौत की सजा काट रही केरला की नर्स निमिषा प्रिया के मामले में एक अहम कदम उठाया है जिसमें हुकूमत ने यमन में हिंदुस्तानी सिफारत खाने को बातचीत से पहले की रकम मुंतकल करने की इजाजत दे दी है जो निमिषा की रिहाई की कोशिशों में एक अहम पेश है निमिषा प्रिया को यमनी अदालत ने ट्वेंटी में यमनी शहरी तलाल अब्दू मेहदी के कत्ल के जुर्म में मौत की सजा सुनाई थी प्रिया ने कत्ल का एतराफ़ करते हुए कहा था की उन्होंने मेहदी का कत्ल अपने दिफा में किया था इल्जाम है कि मेहदी ने यमन में क्लिनिक कायम करने में मदद के बहाने उनका पासपोर्ट जब्त कर लिया था और उन्हें जिस्मानी और जहनी तशद का निशाना बना रहा था 19 जून को सेब निमिषा प्रिया एक्शन काउंसिल को मरकजी हुकूमत से मुजाक की रकम मुंतकिल करने की मंजूरी दे दी गयी ब्लड मनी यमन में एक रिवाज है जहाँ मकतूल का खानदान मौत की सजा के बदले मुआवजा कबूल कर सकता है एक्शन काउंसिल के मुताबिक दीगर अखराज को छोड़ कर पेशगी बातचीत की रकम भी चालीस हजार डॉलर यानी तकरीबन थर्टी थ्री पॉइंट थर्टी एट लाख रुपीज हो सकती है 18 जून को एक्शन काउंसिल ने पब्लिक डोनेशन की अपील के लिए एक प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस भी की तकरीब के दौरान निमिशा की वालदा प्रेमा कुमारी ने वीडियो कॉल के जरिए अपनी बेटी को बचाने के लिए मादी मदद की इल्तजा की 24 अप्रैल को प्रेमा कुमारी ने ब्लड मनी के बारे में मकतूल के घर वालों के साथ बातचीत करने के लिए यमन का सफर किया ये सफर इसलिए भी अहम था क्यूँकी जेल में निमिशा ऐसी उनकी वालदा की मुलाकात ग्यारह साल बाद हो रही थी जो की यकीन एक जज्बाती मौका था लिहाजा हुक्काम ने भी उन्हें मामूल से ज्यादा मुलाकात का वक्त फ्राहम किया ब्लड मनी के सही रकम बातचीत के पहले दौर के बाद तय होगी अंदाजा है कि ये रकम ढाई करोड़ से तीन करोड़ रुपए के दरमियान हो सकती है हिंदुस्तान में खास तौर पर केरला में मुख्तलिफ ग्रुप्स और अफराध प्रिया की रिहाई के लिए फंड्स जमा कर रहे हैं uh, uh, uh the following things to be done uh to start the pre negotiation and negotiation so very important thing that i want to tell you is the paper uh is already in the president office and if the president uh, the, the paper is out of the president office then it will go to the chief prosecutor office and the pre chief prosecutor will immediately action uh the the judgment that has been pronounced and we will not have time so we are uh, the lawyer has told me that we might have about 3 uh, weeks to 1 one, one month uh, time that is the time that is left to save nimisha so before that we have to we have to save uh, we have to do all the actions that is required to save nimisha uh, primarily uh, the uh, lawyer has sent a proposal to the government of uh, to the government of india to the ambassador and uh, based on that i have also prepared the an action plan which i have already submitted to the committee and to the government of india when i met uh, mr Mo- honorable minister of state mr morley therein i met him uh, when i met him i already presented that proposal to him so that is what we are going to action i mean uh, the lawyer has requested for four uh, has put four, four preconditions uh, number one is a letter from the government of india to the government of yemen the government of india has already done the letter uh, the letter and number 2 they were asked for the pre uh, the estimated amount for the pre negotiation which is about for around 40000 dollars and uh, we have requested uh, the government of india to help us to transfer the money through their uh, their accounts from delhi and the government of india is working on it they asked amma to write a letter amma has written a letter and uh, the government of india so which means that any money that is coming to yemen will be uh, through routed through the government of india uh ministry of external affairs to the embassy of india in uh, djibouti and from djibouti uh, to uh, to uh, to the lawyer lawyer's account so w- w- the the importance of this is we will have transparency and we will know what the money is being spent and we will have a complete uh, oversight of the accounts and everything so that is the thing number 3 is they wanted a guarantee uh the uh, the um, the lawyer wanted a guarantee from the government of india stating that the negotiated outcome will be honored um so the government of india has clearly said that they will not give any letter of uh, of that of of that type i will coordinate with the committee to see uh, to prepare a letter whatever is acceptable to the government of india we are we are working on it and we will work on it number 4 number 4 is they asked for a video 
uh, to the Yemen public by Amma stating that uh, asking for an apology for what her daughter has done and asking for a public apology because this case is a public case. So um, that uh, letter would be that video would be that's a, not a, that's a video. So that video will be done when all the other three things uh, are being all the other three things are uh, or uh, the the all the other three things are being uh, uh, done. Then the fourth thing will be the video. Once the video is uh, launched, then uh, once the video is out in the public, then we will start launch the pre-negotiation process. So this is what it is. Uh, and I am in, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a lot of uh, groundwork here, which I cannot state at this point of time. Uh, everything is very positive at this point of time. All, I, all we require is the pre-negotiation money and the guarantee letter. Once that is done, then we can definitely shave Nimisha and bring her home safely. Thank you so much. Thank you.